TransWorldMotorCross.com, and we're here at the Early Years of Motocross Museum. The founder and the owner, Tom White. Tom, tell us about the museum a little bit. Well, I'll tell you what, it's kind of a passion that's run out of control for the last 25 years. Uh, it really got a jump start, you know, when I sold the company actually to the Motorcycle Aftermarket Group and was able to go out and uh, kind of spend more time with my passion of collecting the motorcycles. It also really got kicked in uh, with our White Brothers World Vet Championships. Back in 1997, we started honoring each year a person with a Lifetime Motocross Achievement Award that we felt had made the biggest contributions. Uh, the very first year was Roger DeCoster. I think without question, Roger's probably made uh, the biggest contribution to American motocross. And then it kind of went on Rick Johnson, and then Edison died in 1999. And, and really, once I really understood the story of what Edison Dye had done, you know, falling in love with the sport of motocross in Europe and then bringing the sport here to America. I think the story is compelling and it, it, it uh, the, the sport of motocross in America has grown so quick. I mean, those of us that have been uh, riding motorcycles uh, for a long time, it's kind of hard to realize this sport's only 40 years old in America. And so my museum is about telling the story about that. Now with all these bikes here, almost 100 bikes, million photos, all the cool aftermarket accessories, hats, t-shirts, everything. What's your favorite piece in this entire museum, Tom? Right behind us is the, this motorcycle. Uh, I, this is actually a Husqvarna twin. It was actually built in 1968. Uh, actually, the engineer Ruben Hellman that designed the engine, uh, it was two 250cc engines mated together. But the idea was they wanted to uh, make a bike that uh, would be uh, the most powerful motocross bike ever. But actually, it was I think it was better suited for Baja. And Edison Dye, as passionate as he was about motocross, he wanted to win the Baja 1000. So he convinced Husqvarna to build this bike. Uh, this is the third one that they actually built. And the only one that was really built as a production prototype. And uh, they brought it over here to contest the Baja 1000. The bike won. J.N. Roberts and Gunnar Nielsen were the pilots. And they they actually won that race with it. But this bike, uh, you know, for it's just so rare. I mean, yeah. there's only three in the world. Uh, in my opinion, it may be the most valuable dirt bike on the planet. Uh, now, beyond the beautiful museum and everything, you're also here uh, to help out some other people. Tell us a little bit about, about that. Well, unfortunately, uh, the White family suffered a major tragedy. Uh, Garth, you knew my son Brad, oh, yeah. and uh, you know, uh, we back in together, yeah, right? you did. I know. Back in 1997, he was 18 years old, and uh, he just moved up to intermediate class. He was just getting where he could beat the old man, which no. absolutely drove me crazy. That's tough. And uh, he, had, uh, he was up at a building that I had quite a few of these older bikes stored in, uh, got on this XR75 mini bike that he had ridden many, many times, and went behind a building. I think he was trying to adjust the carburetor on the thing, and uh, the, the people had put up a chain. He didn't see the chain, and the chain caught him and crushed his windpipe and larynx. And uh, the long and the short of it, he had a severe uh, brain injury from lack of oxygen and changed our lives. So uh, we've really found uh, a lot of support and help from High Hopes Head Injury Center. Uh, they're in Tustin, they help out about 60 uh, adults now with their head injuries. And it's kind of their school, uh, their work, it's, and all. And the, the goal is, is to, to make every patient be everything they can be. Some will, you know, won't get out of a wheelchair like my son. Others can really uh, return to a fairly normal life. And uh, I'm just very passionate about trying to help and raise money uh, so that more of the people that don't have the financial uh, fortune that I've had, courtesy of the motorcycle industry, uh, can afford to get the help they need at the High Hopes Head Injury Center. Well, thanks a lot, Tom. We really appreciate it, and good luck to you. Thank you very much, Garth.